Hi everyone, it's Saab here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make strawberry crumb bars. They are so easy to make and I also use fresh strawberries so you don't feel too bad about eating them. I hope you guys enjoy this quick recipe. Keep watching and I'll show you guys what you'll need to do next. So I have here one pound of chopped strawberries. To that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and about a capful of vanilla. You want to start off by taking your sugar, pouring it over your strawberries. Next, you want to add in your cornstarch and then a capful of vanilla, which is about half a teaspoon or so. Mix well and set this aside. Now it's time to make our crust. In my mixing bowl here, I have two cups of all-purpose flour, quarter cup of sugar, a quarter cup of packed brown sugar, and the zest from one whole lemon. To this mixture, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a nice pinch of salt. Now we're going to add in one lightly beaten egg, and half a cup of softened cubed unsalted butter. I usually start off using a fork to mix it and then I just get in there with my hands and you want to continue to mix this until it's nice and crumbly. Don't want to spend too much time on this part. You want to have a lot of that butter still intact. That'll give you a nice good kind of flaky crust. When you're done, you want to go ahead and remove about half a cup of this mixture, place it to the side, and we're going to take that mixture and use it for some of our topping. If you try to use all of this for the crust, it's actually way too much crust and it's not a good ratio with how much filling that we're using. So don't forget to take out half a cup of that. I have a 13 by 9 baking dish that I fit inside here a piece of parchment paper. I'm going to dump in my crust. You want to use your hands and just kind of press it in. It's going to seem really crumbly at first, but the heat from your hand will generally make it more pliable. So go ahead and kind of press it in, making sure you go up the sides a little bit. And once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and dump in your delicious strawberry filling, making sure to have a nice even layer. For the topping, I have in my bowl half a cup of all-purpose flour half a cup of sugar, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and my secret ingredient is crispy rice cereal. You're going to need about half a cup of that. Take your crispy rice cereal, add that into your small mixing bowl. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt, ground nutmeg to taste, and also ground cinnamon to taste as well. To this, you want to add in a quarter cup of butter flavored shortening. If you don't have that, you can sub for regular butter. Start off with a fork and mix to combine. And then gradually just get in there with your hands. Mix it until it's nice and crumbly. And then you can't forget about that half a cup of mixture that you had earlier reserved from your crust. Mix it all in with your hands. Finally, you want to take all that yummy topping and spread it all over your strawberries. And you know, you be the judge. You don't have to use all of the topping. You can use as much or as little as you want. I probably left out about a quarter cup of the topping here. I set it off to this side because I felt like this was just about right or enough. So you want to bake this off in a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes or until the crust is lightly browned. And it's going to look something like this. Nice and yummy and bubbly. Make sure it cools down completely before slicing. All right, now it's time for my favorite part. So I have my crumb bars here. I packed half already to give away because I am just so nice like that. I got my cup of milk here or my mug of milk here and I'm getting ready to get down. Okay. Mm. It's the perfect balance of tartness and sweetness. Anyone that knows me and my desserts, they're never too sweet. And this is the perfect balance of that. Get a sip of your milk. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick recipe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.